Now we're going to cover adductor hallucis, so it's another deep muscle of the foot, and it has a transverse head coming across here, as well as an oblique head coming down through this area here. While we're at it, let's review the arches of the foot. So we know we have a longitudinal arch here, which is made up of the medial and lateral arch, but we also have a transverse arch that comes across the pad of the toes here. And this adductor hallucis between the oblique and transverse head help maintain this kind of motion so the foot's not dropping too flat and splaying out like this. To muscle test this, what we're going to do is bring the ball of his foot up and back like this, and then I'm going to stabilize with my thenar eminence right across the ball of his foot and try and turn his first metatarsal outwards. So now I'll apply a little bit of pressure there, and again I can palpate through where the muscle bellies are going to be with my supporting hand, hold there nice and strong, and then I can just try and move that metatarsal outwards while checking uh, the oblique and the transverse heads of that adductor halysis. For another variation on the adductor halysis muscle test, we can go to the proximal phalange because that's one of its insertion points. And again, we can bring the toe up and back, and I can support my thenar eminence now across that phalange, and again, while trying to spread and move that metatarsal out.